folks, it is day four. Zigzag calorie cycling. <laughs> Here's a time and date stamp for you. Seven fifty three AM in the morning. Seven twenty four. 2024 and uh, here's the day's weigh in oh wow y'all it's just so amazing a bit in the past uh, three days we on day four hmm. I might have to do some calculations here Ugh. so let me let me do a little bit of calculating three hundred and Four point four minus three twenty six point four equals we lost over or about eight pounds. Eight pounds already. <laughs> I'm just getting warmed up. Some of you, you know, out there, you know, been real supportive, and y'all know the the, the the deal and stuff, you know. Uh, I don't care what diet you're doing. It don't matter which one it is, whether it's carbs, whether it's anything. You cut down on food, you're going to lose weight. I've been eating burgers and french fries and not the most healthy stuff on purpose, you know tracking the calories from all that and the reason I choosing the foods that I'm choosing right now because they're the easiest to track because it's wrote right there on the back of the package or I can go into the websites of some of these more popular fast food restaurants like McDonald's like Taco Bell and they've already listed the calorie amounts for me they figured this stuff out a long time ago for me so it's a no-brainer to use that and I don't have to prepare anything I don't have to buy no ingredients all I gotta do is either buy the food or eat it or warm it up and eat it this is fun uh, let's keep going alright so I went by Wendy's I got me a breakfast combo this morning because today, I feel like we can eat a little more. And I got their uh, tater wedges, which I love. You've seen me talk about these if you've been keeping up with my channel. Splurged a little this morning. Spent six bucks. <laughs> and I got me a Wow, I thought I picked a shadier spot than this. The sun keeps popping in and out of the clouds. I got me I got me a sausage and cheese McMuffin. Oh yeah. 
sausage, egg and cheese McMuffin. I'm sorry. Uh, like their little square sausage patty. Uh, it was a little less calories than the biscuit. And I got me a black coffee. which is really hot. So I do got me a drink I brought with me, so I'm gonna let that coffee cool down. I ain't gonna jump on that too fast. Mm. Pesky sun. I may move y'all out of the sun a little better. Bear with me a second. There's a line of trees right here and I misjudged the shade because the sun was behind the clouds for a second. But uh, I get it right this time because there's a lot bigger tree just up the way here. Oh, yeah. Lots better. Lots better. So we've been zagging the past two days. I guess today we'll zig a little bit. Back upwards. Because I have already lost a week's worth of weight in just a few days. And I know some of that's water weight or whatever. Some of it's weight, weight. You know what I'm saying? Some of it's regular weight. And I have, you know, had <laughs> some pretty low calorie days there. You got to remember my, <laughs> remember when we calculated my maintenance is around uh, 2,900, so. I've been shooting for 2,000. I've been coming up short of that 2,000 by a few hundred calories every day. So today I'll try to get a little closer to it. It may cause a standstill or a slight gain on the scale in the morning. Either way, I don't care. Uh, I've lost a lot of weight for the week and the week ain't even over yet. I I, I, su I I suppose, and I'm hoping, and I may be speaking, pe <laughs> speaking prematurely here, but uh, I'm expecting 10 pounds or more weight loss in this first week. At least that's the plan. Wendy's got it going on with them little tater wedges right there. They got it going on with them. One day when I was supposed to get the uh, 2,500 calories, I got that on Sunday. My problem is when I get when I start doing this stuff, I get caught up in it. Caught up in it, and I tend to want to do the less than the more. But 
but you also want to keep your body confused so it don't adjust for a lower calorie all the time. That is the whole point behind the zigzag. Now, I might not be doing it properly according to that chart I showed you. I don't care about that. All I can tell you is I'm in a deficit under 2,900 calories every single day. So if I eat 2,000 or slightly over, I'm good today still at a deficit mmm that's so good y'all <laughs> So good. Eight hundred and some odd. I can't remember exactly what the meal was. I have to look it up. I really don't care. Right out of gate. A little over 800 calories, we'll just put it that way. Good to go. Good to go. Feels good. Feels real good. I was in lunchtime. I went by Arby's. Got me two crispy chicken sandwiches. Because they were two for six. Look how big they are. Two for six bucks. 510 calories a piece. This might be the most food I've ate all week. I mean, you know, for Arby's. It is a good looking chicken sandwich. We got lettuce, tomato, mayo on there. Yeah, lettuce, tomato, mayo. Decent little chicken sandwich. I'll tell you what. I got two of them cheaper than what I get at Chick-fil-A right now. Just saying. A good little soft uh, bun in there.
listen to me. I'm supposed to be talking about diet. And I'm explaining how my food tastes. So when I eat these two chicken salads, let's switch gears a little bit here. <laughs> That'll put me around nineteen hundred, closer to two thousand for the day than I have been. all week <laughs> I'm no zigzag expert all I know is I'm going to do different amounts under under um, 2500 if I wanted to eat a little more than this today, I, I could. I probably won't though. This is probably gonna fill me up for a long time. I may eat something simple, you know, like a little TV dinner I got at home or something. Boy, that was nasty and messy. That's the one thing about tomato. It'll gush. It'll gush. Now, I know in the past, y'all have seen me do this type of thing with Subway. And I'd call it sub fasting or whatever. Truth is, this way of dieting is how the Subway diet works. The calorie amounts were figured into that diet, just so you know. And, uh, Who's to say that the guy actually really done it, you know, because he just got somebody to basically talk about how he done it and got recognized that way. Back then there wasn't much of an internet. So. I mean, there was, but it was just taken off. I think he strategically planned that. But anyway, this, this is... My point is, this is the same thing as that is. It's just uh, done in a different way. I mean, anything with the calories amounts marked on it, you can turn into a diet, lose weight, call it what you want. They say calories don't work, but oh no, working good for me.
I really should save this and not eat this right now. But I'm trying to confuse my body right now because it's dropping weight like crazy. I don't want it to think it's going into starvation mode. Which is important to how this diet works. So it seemed he had that big 800 calorie breakfast and this 1,000 calorie lunch. It is 1.28 in the afternoon. Water and this meal together is filling me up. <laughs> Sorry, some of the videos may be a little longer because, uh, hey, what can I do? You see in the diet in real time here. Complete with weigh-ins and what's going on on a daily basis. <laughs> I may or may not eat nothing else the rest of the day. I don't know. That's pretty filling. That's pretty fulfilling. That and what I've already had. All right, talk to you in a little bit. When we get ready to close this out. All right, folks. So it is the end of the day, and I'm still full as a tick off of those uh, Nutrigrain bars. It's now 4:07 p.m. in the afternoon. Uh, what I meant to say was I'm still full off of those Arby's chicken sandwiches. And if I do eat anything else, I might have one of those apple cinnamon Nutri-Grain bars uh, at 130 calories. Uh, I may or may not have it. Uh, I had pretty close to 2,000 calories today. Uh, I was going to shoot for 2,500, but uh, that stuff is so filling, it stays with you a long time. Well, long time, so uh, I think I'll be good, you know, until in the morning. Uh, yeah, it was right at 2 p.m. when I got done eating all of that. Uh, like I said, if I, if I get uh, in the notion to want to eat something else, I'll eat a Nutri-Grain bar or two. Uh, uh, and we'll still be good. <laughs> I promise you, we'll still be good. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's, uh, that's how today went. Uh, we're down eight pounds. Uh, real excited about that, and I can't wait to take you along for the journey tomorrow. All right, folks, that's all for, uh, what was it, day four? Well, till tomorrow, you folks have a good one.